everybody. It's Michelle and I have found some really cool beads at Walmart that I wanted to share with you guys that are going to help me to create a really fun bead charm. You guys may remember last year I did a few traffic light themed projects. I did a traffic light card and we did a traffic light table setting. And I was reminded of those traffic lights when I was browsing through the beads at Walmart. And they have several of these 98 cent packs with just some random sort of bead mixes in each one. And in this one, I want you guys to look if you could see. It looks just like the shape of the traffic lights that I created on my card and my table setting. It's just sort of a long rectangle with the corners chopped off a little bit and that's exactly how I created my other ones and so when I saw these I knew I had to do a traffic light and this is super easy so I'm just going to take one of my wooden beads and they were already black just exactly what I needed but if you can find something in a similar shape you can paint yours black and I also wanted to show you guys what happens when I try to scan these to create a link for you guys. So I go to my Walmart app. I click here to scan the barcode. And when I do that, it pulls up a listing for Cousin Beadwood Mix. And if you look at that photo, that is not what I've got here at all. And there are even a few different options that are shown on there of different ones. So this may be something that if you want the specific one, you may have to find these in store. And they're usually on the bottom shelf in the beading aisle, just loosely in packets. And you just sort of randomly pick through there and they've got all different kinds. So I will go ahead and put the link to this just in case you guys might be able to get something different to pull up on there. And I'll also look around and see if I can find maybe some alternative options on eBay or something that would be good for it. But like I said, you can get sort of a rectangle wooden bead shape. You can paint it black. You can create this on your own if you want to. But I was just so inspired when I saw that shape in the store. So I've got my wooden bead, and that pretty much does everything we need for the shape of our traffic light. We don't need to do anything else to it. I played around with it, maybe kind of framing up the top and bottom with some different decorative beads, maybe some daisy spacers, different things to frame it out, and it really just sort of distracted from that traffic light look. So I decided to just leave it just like it is. It's got the shape completely perfect already on its own, so we're going to leave it like that. I'm just going to use a head pin and one of my three millimeter silver sequins just to enlarge the head on that pin so that it won't slip through the larger hole that wooden beads always have. I've got a jump ring and a lobster clasp to attach that. And then to create the lights on our traffic sign, we're going to use a red, yellow, and green rhinestone. And these are the 5mm flat back rhinestones that came in an assorted mix also at Walmart. I think it was also 98 cents, 97 cents, something like that. And I'll include a link to those for you guys as well. And we're just going to attach those with some of our Loctite Super Glue Gel. Like I said, this bead does everything for me with that shape. And I hope you guys can find this in your local Walmarts. I think that it is just absolutely perfect for this. So I'm going to hold my bead straight, figure out which way I want it to face. I think about like that, looks good. And I'm gonna open my Loctite glue. I'm gonna start with the yellow one so that I can get it centered and easily build out from there. Make sure that I don't get too much of that glue. Let's see if I can pick a little bit of it back up with my little cuticle stick here. I don't want it to ooze out the sides. So I'm going to use my little jewel picker 
And I'm going to pick up the yellow one and get it set into the center. And that way we can more easily eyeball center like that and get it just the way we want it. That way I can make sure that it is centered and it'll be easier to place the other ones on either end and be able to get it straight that way. And remember, be certain of your placement. And a dot down here for the green. And that is all it takes to create your little traffic light. I think that is so cute and it makes the perfect little traffic light. And now all we have to do is put it onto our head pin with our sequin that enlarges the head for us. Remember that wood beads and acrylic beads almost always have larger holes. And then I'm just going to hold that down firmly. I'm going to try to come off to the side instead of the front and not put too much pressure on my rhinestones there. However, that Loctite glue does hold almost immediately, so it's not too much of a concern. If you use something like E6000 or something like that, you may want to add your jewels on the day before and then come back and assemble your charm and make sure that it has plenty of time to dry. So I'm cutting that down to a little more than a quarter of an inch. And then roll that into a loop. And now I'm going to open my jump ring. Add on my little traffic light and my lobster clasp to attach it and again use any sort of connector that you want if you want to make two of these and put them on ear wires instead of lobster clasps these would be absolutely adorable as earrings you can attach a pendant bell if you want to turn it into a necklace I think another thing that would be cute if you did want to make this into a necklace pendant would be to use an eye pin through there instead of the head pin. That way you've got the loop and have that loop down here at the bottom. You could dangle some little key charms like the one that I had on my wire wrapped heart pendant at Valentine's Day and dangle some little keys from there and that would be just adorable. This would be cute as part of a cluster of charms dangling from a rear view mirror. Perfect for a Sweet 16 or a new driver. I just love this. I think it's adorable and I'm so glad that I found those beads that were just perfectly shaped for what I needed it to be for my traffic light. So you guys be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think of my little traffic light bead charm. I think it is so cute. I just love this little bead charm. If you guys make one, I would love for you to share it with me over in our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. And you can give a like to my regular Crafty Facebook page if you just want to stay up to date on notifications and when I post videos and things like that. But it's really fun to interact in the group and to see everyone else's crafts and what everyone's got going on. I think it's so much fun. And there are so many wonderful crafters over there with some amazing ideas. Also, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to everything in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.